Hey guys, Spud here, as always. And today I wanted to highlight a magic bullet for increasing your performance in DCS World when it comes to load times and that lowest 99th percentile dip in your frames per second. Lately, I've been extremely frustrated with DCS World 2.9 and its performance, but more specifically the consistency of its performance. Now, recently I went a bit overboard with my home cockpit refresh and built an entirely new rig for playing DCS World and video editing. This PC is a monster with an Intel i9 14900K, RTX 4090, 64GB of RAM, you know, the works. Now, normally, you'd think this would translate to huge increases in DCS World's performance, and it did but with the huge caveat of much higher highs when it came to FPS and much, much lower lows in the 99th percentile, and weirdly and oddly long load times for missions, and then the textures that were popping in uh, starting from black going to blurry and then finally to their full resolution once I was inside the cockpit. And on top of this, everything was extremely inconsistent. Sometimes I would hop in the cockpit on a simple empty mission with no other units around and it would be a stuttery, screen tearing mess that was almost unplayable. Then on my next play session, I would fly in a DCS multiplayer server with 50 other pilots and get fantastic performance that I really could have only dreamed about a few years ago now. This inconsistency and huge ups and downs in FPS had me ready to tear my hair out as I tried every possible combination of graphic settings trying to fix this frustrating inconsistency. After trying literally everything possible within DCS World settings and the NVIDIA control panel, uh, I decided to look outside of the realm of graphics settings and look deeper into issues of inconsistent performance of applications across the board in Windows 11. This is where I finally found the culprit, Windows Defender, as usual I suppose. And I feel really stupid that I hadn't caught onto this earlier. So let's dive deep into how we can keep Windows Defender to stay the hell away from DCS World and all the other apps you use to enhance your DCS World experience, whether you're on a flat panel or in VR. All right, guys, here we are on the desktop of my PC. And before we get started, please keep in mind that if you're having performance issues or more specifically performance inconsistency issues with other programs or games you might be running in Windows 11, this could potentially be a fix for that as well. It just doesn't just pertain to DCS World and the programs you use to enhance your DCS World experience. So we'll get started by first opening up our settings app. And we're greeted, of course, by a new window that shows all the settings that pertain to your PC and Windows 11. On the left-hand drop-down uh, list here, we're going to go for the second to the bottom option labeled Privacy and Security. Then we're going to go all the way up to the top of the very long list of options here to Windows Security, Antivirus, Browser, Firewall, and Network Protection for your device. We'll click on that guy. And then once again, we're going to go to the very top option labeled Virus and Threat Protection. Clicking on that will open up another window, and we're going to go down to the Virus and Threat Protection Settings option, which should be in the very middle of this new window that just opened up for you. We'll go down to Manage Settings. And once we're under the threat and virus and threat protection settings window here, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom to look for the exclusions option right down here. We're then going to click on the add or remove exclusions so that way we can exclude DCS World and its related programs from Windows Defender. Now, once we're at this position here, it's very easy to then add an exclusion. So we can click on the plus symbol that says add an exclusion here, and we're greeted with four different options. File is to exclude a specific file from Windows Defender. 
folder, an entire folder and all the files included within that folder, a specific type of file, and then a process that may be running on your PC. Now, the best way to do this for specific programs and games is gonna be the folder option here. When we click on that, we're gonna be greeted by the file browser. And for DCS World, because of course that's our main topic of interest today, we're gonna find where DCS World is installed, the core install folder. For a lot of you guys, that's gonna be in your C drive, program files, x86, Eagle Dynamics, and then either DCS or DCS.openBeta if you have open beta installed. For me, I have it installed in a little bit of a different place. I have a separate game E drive specifically for DCS World. So we've got our Eagle Dynamics folder right here to show you guys that uh, DCS World is installed in that folder. You can see that is definitely the core install folder for DCS. So we'll back out to the root game drive folder here. We'll click Eagle Dynamics. We'll click select folder, and that will create a new exclusion for Windows Defender. Windows Defender will no longer think of Eagle Dynamics as a threat. It's completely excluded from Windows Defender. It won't be trying to scan those files for threats as we're trying to play the game, which definitely slows down performance when it comes to actually flying in DCS world. Now we're going to add another exclusion here, another folder. And this time we're going to go for the saved games folder of DCS world. Now, there's a lot of rather big and very important files that DCS World uses inside of our saved games folder, such as skin files, entire mission files, uh, meta shaders, FXO files, all these very important things that are saved in our open beta folder within saved games. So go back to the E drive here, back to save games and show you guys that I also have the Eagle Dynamics model viewer trunk folder in here from using the model viewer for skin creation. So because we're gonna want to exclude both of these big folders here from Windows Defender, we're gonna click on our entire saved games folder here. So we'll select that, add that as another exclusion here. And when I first got into trying to exclude DCS World from Windows Defender to fix these performance inconsistencies, this made a massive, massive difference and made a huge difference when it came to the load times in DCS World, as well as the lowest 99th percentile of my frames per second. That can be seen in the kind of more advanced performance options within uh, the NVIDIA control panel, things of that nature, or at Shadow Play, I should say. However, there is still a little bit of kind of jerkiness and kind of not perfectly smoothness when it came to flying in DCS world that I was used to when using my previous PC before I built this new one. And the fix to that was adding yet another exclusion. So we'll go to folder and we're gonna exclude um, natural points software and drivers that run track IR. And this really smoothed out my track IR experience and made DCS world a lot more consistent performance wise. So this one's a little bit harder to find, but that's gonna be in your C drive unless you have it installed in a different spot. Into your program files x86, and we're looking for the natural point folder right here. So we'll select that folder and keep Windows Defender away from the core install files of our track IR. And we're going to need to add another folder to that. It's gonna be back to the C drive, users, spud knocker, or your name, whatever your name is in there. The app data folder, that is gonna be a hidden folder by default. So you may need to tick the option to show hidden folders within your file explorer, just an FYI there. Roaming and natural point folder under roaming. Select that folder. And then once again, we're gonna add another exclusion to Windows Defender. And that is going to be under my game drive here. And that is gonna be my DCS Simple Radio standalone folder add that 
And now we have all of DCS World, all of its install folders, all of its saved game folders and files, as well as our track IR software and our SRS software excluded from Windows Defender. And for me at least, this has increased the performance in DCS World, reduced load times, as well as made the performance in DCS World so much more consistent after going through and just ripping my hair out trying so many different combinations of uh, DCS World graphics settings and NVIDIA Control Panel graphics settings. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and I really hope it helps some of you guys out there who were extremely frustrated with performance with DCS World in Windows 11 with some of the latest updates to DCS, or maybe you've built a new PC. So thanks for watching, guys. I, like I said, I hope this helps you out, and if it did, please give a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.